Hello. It is indeed wonderful to be here um, in Manipur. Um, sir, the Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Biren Singh, uh, Dr. Sapam Ranjan Singh, the Honorable Minister, Medical Health and Family Welfare Department and Publicity and Information Department, Sri Laishan Tem Susindro Methi, the Honorable Minister, PhD, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Manipur, Sri Haikam Dingo Singh, Honorable Minister, Social Welfare, Skill, Labor, Employment, and Entrepreneurship and Fisheries Department, Sri Laurang Bam Rameshwar Singh, Honorable MLA from Manipur, Sri Kong Bantam Bam Ibomcha Singh, Honorable MLA from my, uh, uh, Manipur. So it's indeed a pleasure to be here and uh, also to uh, uh, the additional Chief Secretary, uh, Womlong Mang. And of course, the director, Janims, the director of uh, Directorate of Health Services. So wonderful to be here. Great weather as well. While well, the rest of the country is sweltering, we have nice uh, weather. It's been wonderful to uh, land here in Manipur and be amongst all of you for this launch. Um, so the second wave of COVID. Uh, can we have the, the slides come up here? Uh, so when the second wave of COVID hit with the Delta variant, there was a spike about 17 million cases of COVID in two months alone, which actually led us to start this project. And basically, we were getting calls from people saying there's no ventilator beds, there's no oxygen, and so on. And we said, uh, uh, not only in urban India, but rural as well, there was this problem. So we said, we need to create ICU infrastructure. And we started completely on Zoom calls, because they were all COVID restrictions. And we started work. And so we identified uh, five areas which we should uh, we needed to address. The first one is the absence of ICU beds in most rural areas, taluka hospitals and so on, and sometimes even in district hospitals. Uh, acute shortage of medical specialists, even if you have ICUs, intensivists, pulmonologists and so on were missing in many government hospitals. And also the healthcare system, there was a manual paper-based system which was slow to respond to a pandemic surge. So we needed solutions for this. And also, the existing medical staff needed to be trained, because COVID was moving very fast, very dynamic, and the variants were coming very fast. And uh, lastly, sir, the, there's a weak integration of the healthcare facilities with the local community. So we said we need to address these problems if we are going to make an impact. So sir, we started uh, with these solutions. Or we came up with the idea of a 10-bed ICU, a well-defined, clear product which can be deployed in these hospitals. Uh, our goal is sir, to create a 10-bed ICU in every district of the country. Today, we are in 200 hospitals in eight states. And of course, we're very proud to uh, be here in Manipur, launching it in all the hospitals here, all the 15 district hospitals, as well as in Janine's. So that is the 10-bed ICU itself. The second, sir, like I said, if you have a shortage of specialists in rural areas, the only way we can deal with this is through technology to get your specialists at a medical center, at a tertiary hospital, at a center like Janine's, the specialists can help those in far-flung areas through the help of technology. So you saw the demonstration today at the tele ICU hub. So we, we'll take you through how this actually, what is this magic, how does it work? We will take you through that quickly. Third, sir, instead of manual paper-based healthcare systems, we have built a new platform called CARE. It has been recognized by the United Nations as a public good, and we have launched it here in Manipur. We will show, uh, we'll try to take you quickly through the comprehensive features of care. So the uh, fourth point is to uh, training modules. It's not enough to deploy this software and technology and tele-ICU. The training modules and standardized ICU protocols, we're bringing that in. And uh, la last but not least is the community participation strategy, sir, where we are trying to strengthen the ro Rogi Kalyan Samitis. So very quickly, our team, Mr. Vinod Kosla is a founder uh, uh, partner at Kosla Ventures. He runs a large VC fund in California. He's been uh, one of our most active uh, supporters. He, uh, during the launch in Telangana, he made a promise that he will fund 100 hospitals. And we actually took the, those funds and we have deployed it across the Northeast. And Manipur is the first state where we are launching it. And we want to, um, uh, so we have, Vinod Kosla has brought in the, those funds. Of course, Dr. Sudarshan, it heads Karuna Trust, and we have Venkat here as secretary for Karuna Trust participating. 
Balapat Sati, who's joined us, one of serial entrepreneur, uh, who's been helping us. Uh, he's, in fact, orchestrating this whole uh, function. Uh, MK Perumal, who comes in from Dell. Of course, Bisoya, Bisoya Leutenbaum. I just want to take a minute, sir. She's the daughter of the soil, comes from Manipur. She has worked all the way from hospitals, all the way through all the uh, state departments, right up to your office, sir, the chief minister. So uh, uh, she's done a fantastic job in making this whole event happen. Aparna leads our, the, uh, the product as well as the southern deployments. Jijin heads the technology uh, part of the uh, system. Amruta does the donor and um, uh, um, partnerships. And Dr. Atul Joseph is our clinician who's doing the training and all the clinical aspect. Sir, a project this large is not possible by one organization, by a few individuals. It's a bunch of partners. We have, of course, the e-governments foundation, which I founded along with Nandan Nilekani in 2003, uh, which is uh, where this uh, program is housed. And Karuna Trust is our partners. Karuna Trust has a very strong presence in the Northeast. They're working with us. So on the donor front, it's not uh, the Kosla Family Foundation. HDFC Bank Parivartan has come in. Hamilton Medical, so though we imported ventilators from Hamilton, they were so impressed with this project, they decided to donate one ventilator for every two we purchase. So they are a donor as well. Google has come in. The entire cloud deployment of our software is free. Google has ensured that on the Google Cloud. And of course, Crypto Relief has also come in for the uh, tele-ICU portion of the uh, project. Sir, we have partners on the Rogi Kalyan Samitis on community participation. We have the Population Fund of India, PFI. Uh, they are also here. Ma the Medilane Foundation, uh, local uh, NGO partner, which is on the field, they've uh, helped us. And sir, on the vendor side, we have BPL Medical, which has supplied all the devices. And of course, Hamilton has supplied the ventilators. So we thank all our partners. So very quickly, if you look at this, uh, uh, our donor map of Manipur, Mr. Vinod Kosla has funded 13 out of the 16 ICU wards across the state. He is single and elderly, his foundation has funded it. We thank him for his generous donation to the state of Manipur. <laughs> so the Janine's tele-ICU hub that you just saw is also funded by Mr. Vinod Kosla, who is in California. I think we have a, a, a recording from him, a uh, few words from California as well. So the HDFC Bank Parivartan has funded three of the uh, district hospitals. In fact, Taming Long, uh, uh, Taubal, and the ICU ward here at Janim's has been funded by the HDFC Bank Parivartan. We thank HDFC as well for this generous donation. <laughs> Sir, very quickly, of the five uh, 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 points, uh, pillars of our project, we donate this entire set to the state of Manipur for every district hospital and Janim's. And uh, this is a comprehensive package for ICUs. You also have a choice within a budget to pick and choose what you want. And so, sir, the, 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 the choice has been made by the state in conjunction with our uh, biomedical engineers. It is not just equipment that we provide, sir. It is equipment, it is installation, it is training, and we have purchased three years warranty for you. It's not one year, it is three years warranty. So it's a comprehensive package that we have provided. Sir, the Hamilton ventilators, the reason why we chose, we imported those ventilators, and in fact, we had to spend money on the um, uh, duties and customs, was because the artificial intelligence adaptive uh, uh, support uh, mode that they have, ventilation mode that they have, promotes early weaning. It auto weans the patient. Even if you don't have specialists in your district hospitals, it can automatically auto wean the patient, right? So it helps a lot especially in these rural far-flung areas. And also, sir, uh, clinical trials have shown that f you need far few, fewer manual adjustments. So we went for this high-end ventilator. It does adults, it does children, it also does babies, neonatal. So it's a very advanced ventilator that we procured from Switzerland, Hamilton Medical. In fact, we have the Hamilton Medical folks, uh, Sasha, who's joined us uh, from Switzerland, probably Bob Hamilton from USA is probably also joined our Zoom call. Uh, sir, I, I forgot to welcome not only the audience here today in this audi auditorium, but also there is a large number of people who have come in on the Zoom to witness this event of launching in um, Manipur. Sir, the uh, one other uh, item I just want to talk to you about is the BPL 5 para monitor. You will have seen every bed has a 5 para monitor. We have Ethernet connected, LAN connected all these monitors, connected to the cloud in order to get those, that data to the hub. 
and so uh, uh, using standards. And so, sir, you don't have, nurses do not have to fill out paper. Paper forms are not necessary. All the vitals are automatically recorded and uploaded to the, um, uh, not only shown in the central nursing station at the ward, but also uploaded to the cloud. So, sir, very quickly, I want to take you through the tele-ICU functionality you saw. It is what we call a hub and spoke model. The hub is the Janine's hub, for instance. The spokes are the hospitals. And what happens, sir, the, mag uh, the magic of all this is what is happening is all this data from the hospitals, whether it is five para monitors, high resolution cameras that you saw, doctor to doctor video communication, or patient health record, it's all being sent through our server, which is sitting in the ICU ward, to the cloud, to the GCP Google Cloud, where our care platform, the United Nations recognized public good, our care platform runs. And from there, sir, it connects to the tele-ICU hub. Hence, Dr. Rakesh, for instance, was able to talk to the doctor at the hospital and to look at the patient. He could zoom into the patient, look at the clinical details, talk to the doctor on a video call, look at the five para monitor in full glory. You, it's as good as Dr. Rakesh being in the, village, uh, in the district hospital. So that's the technology. And sir, all of this comes out of a lot of technology has been deployed, not just medical equipment. All the computer uh, equipment comes from Dell, uh, Dell Latitude laptops, Dell Precision uh, workstations for the server connectivity, Dell desktops uh, uh, for the CNS central nursing stations in the ICU wards. We have completely done a LAN networking. Rajesh Sethi is here, who's done a fantastic job across the state doing LAN networking for all the hospitals, uh, his company. High-res dome ceiling cameras, these large cameras, five pound cameras hanging from the ceiling, that is what is giving you this high resolution 4K imagery at the hub. So these are there in all the um, uh, ICU wards and of course the nursing station. So also on the tele-ICU hub, there's a lot of technology. We have deployed large 55 inch 4K TV monitors, commercial grade, this comes from Philips. So every one of the equipment has been hand selected, top notch, high quality. These are not L1 equipment. We have chosen the best equipment for the project. And everything from printers, USB backup uh, uh, phones, and you know, the headphones and mics, all of this is included in our package. So this is the magic that makes this thing work. So sir, on the training and capacity building, we have gotten, of course, Dr. Atul has been already starting the training. First, we do, do a comprehensive medical training that comes from our vendors, BPL, Hamilton, Siemens, and others. We do the care software training. Uh, in fact, Aparna runs the care software training. We have trained the administrators as well as the uh, doctors and nurses how to use our software platform. And, and by the way, sir, so, uh, the, uh, the doctor to doctor tele ICU communication training, because this is a new model. If you are not administering the patient directly, how do you administer from 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers away is a new process. So we are training the doctors how to do that, doctor to doctor communication across this, the tele-ICU training. So we are also working with the University of Hong Kong on ICU training uh, course, as well as advanced life support training from the American Hearts Association. So we're bringing all these packages to build training and capacity here in Manipur. So fourth, the software components itself, I've already spoken to you. So if you, you would like it in your secretariat, you can have a dashboard. If the pandemic surges, you can deploy such a dashboard, which will give you exact information of how many COVID patients, uh, how many people are uh, needing ventilators, oxygen, and so on. So there is a comprehensive package for real-time analytics, for oxygen monitoring, of course, the tele-ICU module, and uh, dashboards. And so, like I said, this is completely free and open source, so you're not locked in to any vendor. You're not locked into us. You can use this uh, software absolutely free. And like I said, the United Nations has um, uh, actually um, uh, recognize this as a digital public good. Lastly, the community participation, last, uh, last but not least, the community participation, strengthening of the RKS, the Rogi Kalyan Samathis is super important. We need health facility level committees for, uh, committees for equitable access. We need to ensure that the local community takes control of these hospitals, the equipment, ensures that they're all working and, uh, in order and everybody has access to these uh, uh, facilities. 
the RKS exists already, sir. I was told uh, by our partner in all our, all your district hospitals already have the RKS under the National Health Mission. And of course, the membership over there, there needs to be elected representatives and eminent citizens and so on. And it looks like already they have been created in your different hospitals. So we are partnering with the uh, uh, Population Fund of India uh, on this. And PFI has a lot of experience, especially to provide guidance on the community processes, particularly related to accountability, to ensure accountability in these hospitals. And they have the expertise in strengthening these Rogi Kalyan Samitis. In fact, they have worked in many, many places here, UP, Jharkhand, Orissa, Bihar, Sikkim, and other places. So we are very glad to have them as our partners. And sir, but I have a request of uh, you. Firstly, sir, to make this successful, we need the active support of the Chief Minister of Manipur. We, right from the top, we need you to support this project because it has a lot of technology components. Uh, we need to make it all work. So second thing, at Janims, at your Jawaharlal Nehru Medical Institute of Medical Sciences, we need to provide enough specialists in order to manage these 15 hospitals. So we request you to ensure uh, uh, the director and the directorate of uh, uh, health services to help us on this. Uh, so this is an issue. The third point, we need broadband internet access in all the district hospitals. So today we are having uh, downtimes in many of the hospitals. We are uh, monitoring them. We need your help in ensuring that we have good broadband fiber access because when you want to see the patient in 4K high definition, look into the pupils, we need high-speed uh, high bandwidth uh, internet. And that would be super useful to ensure that the tele-ICU works. And of course, sir, for the Rogi Kalyan Samitis, we need your active participation from the government to support this. And sir, in conclusion, I think within six months, we have made rapid progress uh, across Manipur. 16 10 bed ICU wards covering the entire state, tele ICU hub set up already that you just inaugurated. With the help of the Chief Minister, the state government, and all the institutional partners we have mentioned, I think we can improve the critical care outcomes in Manipur and uh, save thousands of lives. Thank you, sir.